problem is quite interesting because they give us, they say that the first three terms are arithmetic. So let's do those. Those are arithmetic. And then the last three terms, which is the x, the y, and the 16, those are geometric. Now remember that when a sequence is arithmetic, you can say t3 minus t2 equals to t2 minus t1. Remember, that is a property of arithmetic patterns. So here we can say y minus x is the same as x minus 6. Then for geometric patterns, we can remember that t3 over t2 is always the same as t2 over t1. So we can say 16 over y must be the same as y over x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and neaten everything up. So these x's can go together. So we would actually get y equals to 2x minus 6. And then on this side over here, I'm going to cross multiply. So we'll get 16x equals to y squared. Now we need to do some type of simultaneous equation. So I can see that y is 2x minus 6. So I'm going to put that over here. So we're going to get 16x equals to and then this will become 2x minus 6. Okay, so now I'm just going to multiply those two brackets out. Remember that there's two brackets next to each other. So it'll become 4x squared minus 24x after you've put all the terms together plus 36. Then I'm going to move everything to the right hand side. And so we're going to end up with minus 40x plus 36. i would use the quadratic formula there. You can try factorize if you want. I just usually go straight to the quadratic. And so x would be 9 or 1. So now what we do is we come find the y values. So if x equals to 9, then y would be equal to 2 times 9 minus 6, which is 12. And then if x is equal to 1, then y would be 2 times 1 minus 6, which is negative 4.